We were milking about 60 or 70 cows for a long number of years and the potential on the, on the platform was, was, to, was to milk uh, far in excess of that. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to milk more cows uh, because that was going to make me more money. The quality of the service, I think, uh, uh, does stand out. Uh, the price uh, had to come into play as well. Uh, it was an easy decision uh, to make in the end. Everything was spot on. I mean, delivery was delivered when it was supposed to be delivered. Um, in relation to the installation by, by, by Willie Allen and his team, like it was, it was fast, efficient, it was quick. Cow flow to me was, was, was critical through the power. I, I intend to milk maybe 160, 70 or 80 cows, something like that. And uh, I wanted to get those number of cows through that parlour quickly with one man milking. It was the stall work, uh, adjustable breast rail, straight feeding trucks, staggered rump rail. All those things were critical in, in getting that right, apart from pulsation, apart from cluster removal. They fed into it as well. Like, uh, we put in backing gate and we put in drafting. Again, that it was going to take the stress out of it that one man would be able to uh, milk his cows quickly, handle any cows that needed to be handled in relation to, to, to AI or whatever, drafting out cows like that, that you weren't running around under stress in the parlour, stressing yourself and stressing cows out in the yard. All those things were very important. Coming from an eight unit parlour where uh, you had an, a number of heifers in the line, uh, it, was, uh, it was a nuisance and an issue with, 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 with clusters falling off, uh, small teated heifers that were, that were heavily flagged. Uh, coming to the new parlour, um, on my own in a 20 unit, we had no issue. We had similar heifers with similar small teats, but not once it was a cluster falling off. And yeah, uh, excellent in that regard. Absolutely no, no issues with, with, with uh, clusters falling off, um, off heifers. Absolutely none. I opted for cluster removers and uh, it's probably the one uh, piece of technology th that I just wouldn't give back. If I had to give back everything bar one, that's the one I think I'd keep. Teat health uh, I think is, is improved, teat end health particularly, is far improved uh, compared to what it was in the other parlour and I give the credit to, uh, to the cluster removers and, and zero over milking. The Swift Flow Commander, um, the whole emphasis is, is to get cows milked properly, efficiently and quickly. Everything is on the one control box, uh, be it cluster remover, uh, we have milk indicators on as well, and all those things are controlled from the box, as well as the standard uh, putting it into, into milking mode and wash mode uh, and, and things like that. It's very visual in the parlour to see what's going on, and uh, I think it, it integrates uh, extremely well, and uh, I'm very happy with my choice there. Yeah, I opted for, for, for the, the, the Swift Cool Tank, which had, uh, uh, would say, the, the communication uh, with, with, with my phone, and uh, I, I think it's, um, it's an excellent uh, insurance policy. If a milker, uh, be that me or be that uh, a relief milker, doesn't turn on the, the, the tank after milking, which can happen, and, and does happen on farms, uh, that uh, I get text notification, I can do that from my phone. I don't have to get in contact with the milker if it's somebody else, if it's a relief milker is milking, that I, uh, I can actually just takes the tank and, and, it's, and it's turned on. Uh, likewise, if, if, um, if there was a partial milk collection and the lorry driver drove off uh, uh, without turning back on the, the cooler, uh, I get notification within a couple of minutes. And again, uh, I don't have to go to the tank. I can do it from wherever I am. If that happened to happen when the tank was full or nearly full, I mean, uh, once in the lifetime of that tank, right, would more than pay for the, uh, the extra cost of, 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 of getting that in. Coming from an old parlour when I saw it first, he said, God, I hope this isn't going to be too difficult. Hey, it wasn't difficult, you know, and it isn't difficult for anybody. And age doesn't, age doesn't come into it. I came across a, a family uh, that had, had gone from a very old parlour to a parlour of similar spec to what I have now, and uh, the, the farmer himself was telling me that his mother, who had given up milking a number of years previously, went back milking with the new parlour. She liked it that much, so, I mean, it didn't happen here, but uh, I just thought it was an interesting aspect, and it shows that, I mean, uh, that anyone, any age, uh, it actually makes the job pleasant and easy.